During the first two years of medical school, the concentration is mostly uh, preclinical curriculum, meaning the basic science that you need to understand to be a doctor. But built into that is also some dedicated time to work on a special research project. At Hopkins, they call it the Scholarly Concentration Program. And so between your first and second year during the summer, all medical students are given about eight weeks to go off and do a basic science or clinical research project of their own and uh, better learn how to conduct research and how to analyze data. And I'm doing some basic science research here, focusing on better understanding uh, how neurons in the retina die in glaucoma and potentially developing models so that we can create new drugs and treatments to save those neurons in glaucoma. So specifically, the work that I'm doing involves uh, taking the retina from mice and rats and culturing them in a dish which simulates the process that occurs in glaucoma as these neurons naturally die over time. But in a dish, it happens much faster. So we're investigating this question by taking the retina of genetically engineered mice that have a special protein that is fluorescent in all of their retinal neurons. And this allows us to take pictures of these neurons and track them over time, from the times that they're healthy to when they start to get sick until they eventually die. It's not super easy to find the time, for sure. Uh, we have lectures during the day, and it definitely requires a lot of studying at night to keep up with the coursework. Um, but there is some time on nights and weekends to make it into the lab, and then a lot of students find time during the breaks, or especially during that summer between the first and second year to get into the lab. It's really nice that in the Hopkins curriculum, research is an important focus of our learning, and so dedicated time is built into the curriculum to help us achieve that. So our clinical work uh, begins really from the first day. They bring, it in, bring us into the process of knowing how to talk to and examine patients somewhat slowly. We start with a course called the Clinical Foundations of Medicine, where we're taught about history taking and physical exam. And then we move into the longitudinal clerkship, which runs from the second half of your first year through your second year. And we spend one afternoon a week in an outpatient general medicine clinic, either at Hopkins or somewhere in the Baltimore community. And then it's really in your third year that you begin working as a full-time clinical clerk in the hospital. The School of Medicine, specifically the medical students, have created a new program in association with several faculty members at the Wilmer Eye Institute, uh, where we're actually going to be going out into the community and conducting vision screenings on community residents. It's going to be a great opportunity for the medical students to learn about ophthalmology, but also a great opportunity for us to give back to the community in which we're living and learning. Uh, so the medical students will be going out in groups of seven to ten, and uh, under the direct supervision of a Wilmer faculty member, will be conducting vision screening tests in churches and community centers in East Baltimore. Uh, the, I think the best part of this program, though, is that uh, for any community resident that we screen that doesn't have health insurance or the financial means to get follow-up ophthalmological care, several faculty members, including all of the faculty in the glaucoma service, have agreed to see these patients in their own clinics for free. So we're not just being able to identify eye disease in the community, but we're actually going to be empowered to help do something about it.